Welcome to a TLDR Cata Guide for Nefarian, for anyone who wanted to kill this bastard again. Nefarian is the final boss of Blackwing Descent, and has three phases. In phase one, you get Anixia and Nefarian, who both need to be tanked. They both have a frontal breath and tail swipe, so stand to the side, and tank them at opposite ends of the room, or they'll crush you into the floor. If Anixia reaches 100 energy, she wipes the raid, so you need to kill her before that happens. Electrical Discharge deals heavy damage to anyone standing on her side, so when she starts sparking, turn her so the raid is by her ass, because it's better to take the tail swipe than the cast, and the damage increases the more energy she has, so be quick to turn. Hail of Bones spawns adds that need to be kited, but they do kill themselves once their energy hits zero. If their body is hit with a frontal, they get rezzed, so kite them behind both bosses until they die. And this is the real definition of padding, so don't waste your DPS. They gain attack and movement speed over time, so use some CCs to save your tank. When Anixia dies, the phase ends, so when she's around 10%, swap most of the raid to Nefarian to get him down as much as you can before you have to kill her. It's important to maximize DPS on Nefarian, just don't forget to kill Anixia. Nefarian deals heavy raid-wide damage every 10% health, so assign a healer CD because it fucking hurts. And on Heroic, he mind controls five players, making them walk towards a portal that kills you if you reach it. Spam your stolen power for a nice buff, then break free just before you reach the portal, and healers can break out straight away as the buff isn't great for them. Once Anixia is dead, the room fills with lava and you start phase two. Split the raid between each of the three safety platforms and get out of the lava ASAP. Each one has an add that chain casts raid wide damage, so have kickers on each one so it never goes off. Shadowflame Barrage is damage on random targets for healers to deal with, and range can still damage him, so watch out if you trigger his electrocute. On Heroic, you now get Explosive Cinders, a dot with a knockback when it ends, so if you get it, fuck off into the lava so you don't blow everyone off the platform. After three minutes, or once the adds are dead, the lava recedes, so jump back into the arena before the boss kills you for being a pussy. In phase three, tank the boss on the opposite side to the add pile, with one tank on the boss and the other kiting the adds. He still casts his mind control, the frontal, and electrocute, so assign healer CDs for every 10% health. On heroic, this deals a shitload of damage, so spreading out healer CDs, health pots, health stones, and personals is crucial to keeping the raid alive, and damage reduction CDs will be your best bet. He also casts Shadow Blaze Spark, a fireball towards the adds that spreads purple fire everywhere. If the fire touches the adds, they'll res and refill their energy, so keep them away from it as much as you can. Rotate AoE CCs to keep the adds from destroying your tank while everyone works down the boss, and maybe have a third tank ready in case the add tank falls over. Either pop lust when the boss lands, or once your healers are out of CDs, then try to kill the boss before your healers are mashing buttons with bloody stumps. And that's it for Nefarian. Congrats on your clear. A nice challenge for your healing coordination to end the raid and join the waiting room for Firelands. Like and subscribe if you found these guides useful. I'll catch you in the next one.